So we just made it here to the Quimper Fire Lookout. It was uh, pretty much straight uphill for the last maybe uh, hour or so. And uh, so I just wanted to show you what I have on my setup here. This is a bit too much for uh, a simple day hike but I kind of wanted to test it out with the pack, see what it was like for a more extended expedition or if you're in search and rescue. So we're part of a search and rescue group that we volunteer with once in a while. And this is the kind of setup that I would be running there. So starting at the top, I've got my Hill People Gear Snubby Runners kit bag, my Juggernaut Pals mount where I can put my phone. I'm using my phone to make this video so I don't have it in here. Uh, because we are living in this area that is supposedly has the highest concentration of cougars in the world. Um, I do carry this uh, can of bear spray, so I have it at the ready. If I do need to deploy it, I simply just pull down on the safety as I'm pulling out the, the spray can and I can uh, deploy it with ease. Uh, we do have a, a local wolf pack in this area as well as well as a lot of bears uh, in this area. So it's good to have a healthy level of fear to keep yourself alert whenever you're hiking. So even though it is uh, not that far out, uh, not too rural, there are there, there is a, that risk of wildlife in certain areas. So it's important to be aware of those kind of risks in the area where you will be going. So I just have some snacks, some basic things on my uh, kit bag, my radio, I've got my uh, remote here and uh, a tourniquet, got my Garmin inReach mounted to my shoulder pack and I'll go over this this specific mount that I use in a separate video but uh, I do like to have it here because it gives me the uh, best line to the satellites. Um, I've got my Princeton Tech headlamp right here in case we do get caught after dark. My waist, I've got my treat pouch because I'm always hiking with the dog. I've got my ball holster there and I've got my, um, just a basic fanny pack with some basic, uh, like a towel and some quick access stuff. Uh, I've got my leash here in case I do need to, to deploy that. I uh, can quickly just um, attach it. And then, but when I don't need it, then I just hook it up there. She's got pretty nearly perfect recall, so I don't uh, really use that when we're out hiking in the in the area. My pants are the Raider Field Pant from Prometheus Design Works in the Urban Field Gray. If you don't already uh, aren't already familiar with this, I do have a separate video where I go over all the details about this the Raider Field Pant. It's an amazing. Uh, pant and it's pretty much my go-to pant since the moment that I got them. So definitely check those out. On my feet, uh, because it is just a, a day hike, I've got the Solomon Speed Cross 5s in the grape color. For my watch, I've got the Garmin Instinct Tactical in the Coyote Brown and my Shadow 24 liter pack. Uh, I've got camera gear, some food, water, and some um, change of clothes and things like that, that I would use on a day hike. I weighed it and it's around 35 pounds. I don't have the hip belt because I wanted to see how comfortable the straps were, the shoulder straps were on the pack. And it performed excellent. Uh, even after the, this whole hike, all in all, it, we were, the hike up here took about uh, just over two hours and no soreness on my traps, very comfortable. The uh, shape of the back is nice that it allows airflow back there so it's not overly sweaty. My snubby kit bag is attached to the shoulder straps and it provides a nice counterbalance. 